In addition to Jennifer Lopez's many accomplishments and accolades as a singer, dancer, actress, and businesswoman, she's also undeniably a pro at the real estate game. Her portfolio currently encompasses properties located in hot spots like Bel Air, the Hamptons, and Miami. Over the years, she's bought and sold multi-million dollar properties, and along with her ex Alex Rodriguez, has invested countless hours into Project Destined, a program that teaches teens about financial literacy through real estate. This project is such a special thing because it's teaching children at this level in inner cities to know what it is to actually own something very early, Lopez said in 2018. I have been in entertainment and branding for 25 years. But this is a whole other language that most people don't know. And to be able to teach this to kids that don't have the Harvard education is a beautiful thing because it's not just about owning your life. It's not about owning property. It's about learning how to manage everything about your life. Lopez and Rodriguez called off their engagement in April 2021. And while it remains to be seen how they will divide the homes they own together, the superstar already seems to have moved on. Just this month, she was spotted vacationing with her ex-fiancé Ben Affleck. Below, we've rounded up all of Lopez's homes over the years, which collectively show just how she went from Jenny from the block to entertainment mogul without missing a beat. 2000, one year after releasing her first hit, If You Had My Love, Lopez paid $4.3 million for her first Los Angeles mansion, located in a gated community called The Summit. With seven bedrooms and seven and a half bathrooms, the museum-like main house featured a sleek, modern aesthetic. Also on the grounds were a guest house, an infinity-edge swimming pool, a tennis court, playground, and chicken cube. She sold it for $10.95 million in 2004. Gwen Stefani and Gavin Rossdale later owned the home together before selling it for $21.65 million in 2019 following their divorce. 2002. Lopez bought her first Miami home in 2002 for an undisclosed amount. A Spanish-style beachfront mansion set on over 1.2 acres of land, with an enviable 184 feet of bay frontage, a koi pond, and a 60-foot swimming pool. She ultimately sold it for $13.9 million in 2005 to businessman Mark Gaynor, who spent the next three years get renovating the space, including the addition of a 1,000-square-foot walk-in closet in the main suite. By the time he sold it to singer Phil Collins 10 years later for $33 million, the home had been reconfigured to have six bedrooms and eight and a half bathrooms spread out over 11,049 square feet. Collins put it on the market for $40 million in late 2020, and it sold one month later. 2008 in 2004, Lopez married Latin superstar Mark Anthony, moving into his large Georgian-style brick mansion in Brookville, Long Island. She later bought the house across the street for just over $2 million, and the pair combined the properties to create an impressive estate. It was here that the musical couple raised their twins, M and Max, who were born in 2008. Lopez and Anthony split in 2014, and Anthony ended up selling the estate for $4.5 million in 2017 a significant price drop considering the original $12 million list price. 2010. Lopez picked up a stunning Hidden Hills estate for $8.2 million in 2010. The traditional style mansion was divided into two main structures connected by a breezeway, with nine bedrooms and 13 bathrooms scattered throughout. Among the entertainers amenities offered, a dance studio, a professional recording studio, a 20-seat theater, and a full-service bar. Lopez listed the sprawling home for $17.5 million in 2015, to no avail. It finally sold after more than two years on and off the market, for $10 million in 2017. 2013 The singer expanded her real estate reach in 2013 with the purchase of an old Traprovate $10 million home in the Hamptons. The 8,660-square-foot property features eight bedrooms, as well as a pool, sauna, steam room, home theater, and play areas for her twins. Lopez still owns this home. 2014. In 2014, Lopez shelled out $20 million for an exclusive penthouse in the Flatiron District of Manhattan, overlooking Madison Square Park. The family-sized unit measures 6,500 square feet, with four bedrooms, six bathrooms, and old traffic finishings, including wide plank oak floors and marble bathrooms. Adding to the home's appeal is an additional 3,000 square feet of outdoor space spread across four terraces. The singer listed the penthouse for $27 million in 2017 but thus far hasn't seemed to have any luck in offloading it. 2016 Lopez purchased a Bel Air compound from actress Cella Ward in 2016 for $28 million, and it has remained one of her main residences ever since. 
The lavish French country-style estate was originally designed and built by architect Samuel Marx in 1940 and has since been renovated and updated to include koi ponds, a 100-seat amphitheater, a mini-golf course, and a man-made swimming pond. The 2018, about one year after Lopez and Alex Rodriguez began dating, the pair took a big step in their relationship with a joint purchase of a Park Avenue condo. The duo paid $15.3 million for the high-floor unit in the Rafael Vinali designed 432 Park Avenue, the tallest residential building in the Western Hemisphere, which measures 4,000 square feet and features three bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. Less than a year after that. However, they put the home on the market, noting that they wanted more room for their blended family. They found a buyer in June 2019 and sold the condo for $17.5 million. 2019, the same month Lopez and Rodriguez listed their Park Avenue condo, they also snapped up a property together on the opposite coast, a $6.6 .6 million. 4,404 square foot Malibu Beach house previously belonging to Entourage star Jeremy Piven. The three-story home featured unobstructed views of the Pacific Ocean from each of its four bedrooms, with a main suite that occupied the entire top floor. The couple was rumored to have enlisted the help of Joanna Gaines to renovate the home Lopez is a superfan of Fixer Upper, but it's unclear whether Gaines actually had a hand in reimagining the couple's home. Lopez and Rodriguez ultimately flipped it back onto the market in July 2020. They sold it for $6.775 million less than two months later. 2020, Lopez bought her most low-key home. During the pandemic, a $1.4 million single-story home in Encino, but it's likely that she'll never live there. The three-bedroom, Two, and a half bathroom property is reportedly either an investment property or meant for a relative. Her other real estate purchase of 2020, however, made major headlines. Lopez and Rodriguez put down $32.5 million on a waterfront mansion on Miami's exclusive Star Island in August. The behemoth measures 14,762 square feet, with 10 bedrooms and 10 and a half bathrooms, in addition to a wine room, an industrial chef's kitchen, and a wood panel library slash den. There is also a large infinity pool, an attached hot tub, and a cabana bath out back. A 100-foot-long wooden dock provides private access to the Atlantic. The pair announced their decision to call it quits less than a year later. However, so it remains to be seen what will become of their joint real estate purchase.